Ah, oh, fuck. This was done late. I hate college. Ultimate Halo. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of 1v1, the show where we put one thing from the Halo universe against another thing from the Halo universe, and where you get to pick the winner. Last time on the show, we put the Master Chief against Agent Jameson Locke, and with everything that was going on with the Hunt the Truth campaign, we asked the question, whose side are you on? It was hashtag Team Chief versus hashtag Team Locke, and the votes are in. But first... Let me take a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Let's take a look at some of your comments. From Ashton Elliott, I think Team Chief because he is the bomb. This guy is badass and the reason I don't pick Locke is because he just seems to be a dick to MC and everyone. So I don't like him. So can't wait till Halo 5 Guardians to see what happens. Two problems with this. First, C-H-I-E-F. And second, he fucking censored himself and didn't say dick. Like, come on. Dick. By now, you guys should know that we here at Ultimate Halo swear like a hormonal Cortana. Or, well, we would if she wasn't dead. Too soon? I think not. Next comment from Sonny Randall. Team Chief cause he kicked the didactic into space. Spoilers, he's still alive. Again, C-H-I-E-F. And I also don't think the didactic was an enemy in Halo 4. Now this one from Dark Rising. Team Chief? Hey look, he spelled it right. One, he is awesome. Two, Chief has his reasons and Locke is a piece of shit wannabe. And three, why would 343 take Bungie's MC and make him the bad guy? Sure, he's gone AWOL, but he's doing his best, so give him a chance, enough said, don't hate. Well, one, agreed. Two, that's rude. And three, because it's 343's MC, not Bungie's MC. You see? Now on to Team Locke, starting off with Emilio Dejard. Team Locke, because Chief has been a great character since the beginning, but we need to move forward. This doesn't mean killing Chief, but only starting to include more characters to the story. I mean, we can't center a whole massive franchise with big lore in just one character. It would be like Star Trek having one main character. It always bugged me that Bungie went after Chief most of the times, and I like the way 343 is stepping out of its comfort zone to introduce this new character with way more personality, contrasted to the Chief's silence until Halo 4. Good video as always. Well, <laughs> Of course it was a good video, I was <laughs> just kidding, but I can't really say I agree with this because the Halo universe has actually been expanded in so many ways outside of just the Master Chief. There's things like books, novels, comics, short films, even playable games like Reach and ODSC, and even Spartan Strike, but I mean I guess to each his own. Next up is Ryan Duffy, hashtag Team Lock. He cook all bacon like a boss and will defeat Master Chief because he has a reason to join unlike Master Chief. Enough said. From Mr. Light Studios, I gotta vote for Locke honestly. His armor is amazing, his voice is beastly, I mean we barely know anything about him and I didn't like him in Halo Nightfall cause that guy was a shit actor. But everyone else is gonna vote Master Chief so why not? Voting away from the majority to be a rebel. I like it. The next comment is from Sector Cyrax. What? He says, Team Locke, in the end of Halo 4, Chief is told humanity and soldiers are two different things. Chief has no humanity, Locke does, and Locke look boss. So, I think he's saying Chief has no humanity and Locke does. Well, plot twist, we here at Ultimate Halo can actually confirm that in Halo 5, Chief will take off his helmet and we'll see his face, and he's actually been an elite this whole time. So therefore, does he have any humanity? No. No, he does not. And finally from Savage Games, how about this one? Fuck off, Locke. Oh, oh shit, nope, that was not one of the hashtags. Time for results. So we had 118 votes on the Master Chief vs. Jameson Locke video, and the winner of the 1v1 with 94 votes and really horrible spelling is... Team Chief, John117. And that means in second place we had Team Moa. Yeah. Hashtag Team Moa was used more times than Team Locke, and it wasn't even an option. You guys hated Locke so much that you used Team Moa 13 times and Hashtag Team Locke only 11. So congrats Team Moa. Because with comments like Hashtag Team Moa because unlike Cortana, Bungie would have let you write it, you definitely deserve to crash the party. Now on to our next 1v1. Today we're asking the question, which one is better? And get ready to cut each other's throats on this one in the comments. It's hashtag team BR versus hashtag team DMR. And for specifics, we'll only be looking at the Halo 4 versions of both weapons. 
First up is the BR-85 Heavy Barrel Service Rifle. Manufactured by the Mizraya Armory, it's designed for medium to long range combat. And with 36 rounds per magazine and its 3 shot burst firing mode, the battle rifle is the weapon of choice for Halo players around the world. As few as just 4 bursts from the BR can kill both Spartans and Elites, and that's thanks to the 3 round firing mode which makes it possible to finish a kill by not only dropping shields but also killing a target in one shot. However, when compared to the DMR, the battle rifle does fall behind in range, accuracy, and bullet spread. But again though, these traits make it extremely effective at closer ranges. Yet another trade-off is that the battle rifle takes slightly longer to reload in both mid-magazine and empty magazine situations. Personally, I think I like the larger and wider scope that it has compared to the DMR, which again makes it stronger in closer ranges. Now on to the DMR. The M395 designated marksman rifle, also designed by the Mizraya Armory, is a semi-automatic rifle. It features a 14-round magazine with a medium to long effective range. It has a smaller circular scope compared to the battle rifle's larger rectangular scope, but that's because the DMR is more suited for long-range combat as it takes advantage of a 3x zoom scope. With very high accuracy, it takes 5 shots to kill a player using the DMR, and because of its semi-automatic firing mode, landing headshots is easier with reduced recoil. The DMR is capable of delivering impressive stopping power from a long distance, but at close range it falls behind. It's great for killing players and going on offense, but it falls short where the battle rifle is stronger in harassing players and defending locations at closer ranges. And that's this week's 1v1. So, tell us, which one is better? If you think that the battle rifle is the better weapon, you're on Team BR. To cast your vote, post a comment on this video using hashtag Team BR and tell us why you think it's the better weapon. And if you think the DMR is the best of the two, you're on Team DMR. You'll also want to post a comment on this video and be sure to use hashtag Team DMR and tell us why it's the better weapon to cast your vote. So that's it for this episode of 1v1 guys, thank you so much for watching and again, use either hashtag Team BR or hashtag DMR and tell us why you choose the one you did in the comment on this video. We'll be spotlighting some more of your guys' comments right here next week on 1v1. My name is Kenny and I'll see you guys next time here on Ultimate Halo, your home for Halo. Today. This episode of Ultimate Halo was brought to you by HaloArchive.com, the number one source for all things Halo. Ultimate Halo. Subscribe now for more unfreaking believable Halo content.